the zone here, and we're going out to the Lincoln Memorial, yes. where there's a project there Very that started story. a thousand miles away. A 52-foot-tall dress is outside of the Lincoln Memorial today, made up of flags of all 68 countries, where as of right now, being a member of the LGBTQ plus community is punishable by law. 68 countries, as well as eight where people can be killed for simply being, being gay. gay. It's called the Amsterdam Rainbow Dress. And two of the people behind this project are live with us now. Ryan Boss, the executive director of the Capital Pride Alliance, as well as Arno Van Krimpen with the Amsterdam Rainbow Dress Foundation. Both of them joining us alive right now. Tell us about this project. Uh, pretty cool that you guys started this so far away. You brought it to D.C. to draw attention. And what are you expecting out of this? Um, well, in short, we started in 2016 with the project, the Amsterdam Rainbow Dress in Amsterdam, and we never intended it to be as big it is, as it is at the moment. Um, since 2016, I have been traveling the world with the dress, and we have visited all inhabited continents. Um, and now we are in D.C. We were never before here. Um, we were in New York before, we were in San Francisco before, but very happy to be invited here by the Dutch Embassy um, and working together with uh, Capital Pride. And uh, yeah, what we're hoping, what we're trying with this project and what we hope to achieve here as well is um, to let people know what the situation is worldwide on LGBT um, emancipation and discrimination. Mm -hmm. Yo, know, for those of us who have, you know, loved ones who are in the LGBTQ community, you know, this strikes, this stands out. We see it. We're like, oh, my God, somebody could actually kill my brother for being who he is. What do uh, you say to family members and other people who support the LGBT community? What can we do to help and what can we do to raise awareness? Um, first, I want to thank um, Arnout for allowing us to participate um, in this project. Uh, we, um, in Capital Pride Alliance, um, are excited to um, bring World Pride to Washington in 2025. And I think, um, um, for similar reasons um, that you highlight, is uh, our rights are in danger. Um, people are being hurt, being harmed. And the most important thing that folks can do is be visible, be vigilant, um, support each other, and um, um, and uh, and pr provide those safe spaces um, for family, for friends, and for your neighbors. Are right, now I, one thing that I that I find interesting here, and, and I think it's the different spin on the dress. I think most people would expect the dress to have all the countries that allow for the LGBTQ community to live their life, who they are. But I thought that was interesting that instead you wanted to show the other side, the 68 countries, to your point, where you could lose your life for simply being who you are. Why that choice? Um, there is actually, it's, a, it's an art object, but it's a living piece of art. Um, the idea is that as soon as a country uh, adopts uh, LGBT inclusive laws, we take out that country flag and replace it with a rainbow flag. So we want, wanted to show actually the progression in the world. And uh, we don't want to uh, literally name and shame at this point in time the 68 countries. It's, uh, it's what we wanted to show is how big it actually is. It's still okay. a third of the countries in the world that criminalize LGBTIQ plus people. So, um, but there is progression and that is what we wanted to show with this, uh, with this project. And I think that is a, a huge visual element to that, to be able to show if they ever do powerful. get in line. Yeah, it's extremely to powerful it. to see that. Gentlemen, we appreciate you coming on the DMV Zone. Thank you. And again, you. Uh, Lincoln Memorial, if you want to go out there and see that dress. All right.